In this video, I'm walking you through my eight favorite dark theme websites, starting with experiencewelcome.com. I love this website for a number of different reasons, but the first reason is the big, bold font right here at the top. It's a really short header, captivate and convert, and it draws my attention right away. Now, as I scroll, I really love these images and videos and assets that they have on the website. You can see that as I scroll down, this video pops up off of the laptop, and then it's right there front and center, giving me a demo of everything that they do. Now, the other thing that you're gonna notice is a common theme throughout all of these websites is the different ways that you can add depth to a dark theme website. Sometimes it feels like everything just has to be black in the background, but bringing in some different colors, whether that's an orangish pink, a deep blue, um, using some type of gradient or box shadow really makes things pop and makes it not feel like an old fashioned black and white TV show. Now I do really like that this background has a little bit of noise to it, something that you can do pretty easily that adds some texture to your website. I also love the different scroll animations like here with the logos where they're going to scroll up and disappear right underneath the video. Now they do switch to a white background momentarily, but I really like the way that they've done this. They still have these big bold headers and then they're using a grid variation to highlight different features and things that they do and offer. Now as I continue to scroll down, we're gonna hop back to this dark background and again, sticking with the really bold fonts, I love when websites do this, especially with a black background, because sometimes it can feel overwhelming when everything's too small and it doesn't pop. And so using these bright whites as fonts and making them really large, it immediately draws your attention. And it's a lot easier to play with the user or the site visitor and show them exactly what you want them to look at. Continuing to scroll, we are utilizing this noisy gradient here in the wording, which I really, really like. And then we are back to a little bit of scroll movement and animations in these grid sections. And the last section that I wanted to break down for you guys that I really love is these three steps. As you hover, it's going to kind of make these pill shapes blow up. And so you can get a better view of the image inside of it. And as you hover, it's going to change the color of the header. So overall, experiencewelcome.com is a fantastic website. For me, this one's going to get an 8.5 out of 10. Great website. Go look through it. You can catch the link down in the description. Now, the second website that I want to talk about is sellx.com. I love this website. And right off the bat, the thing that catches my attention is the unique layout of the hero section. They've got kind of this left, right column. Looks like this one on the left takes up about two thirds. And then the one on the right takes up one third. But what they did that's unique is they center aligned everything inside of these columns. And this isn't something that I would recommend doing unless you do it with purpose and are very specific about the way that it's done. But I also love the really large font here for the header. And they change the color and the font for the most important words, which again, just draw your attention to what you want them to read most. Now they've got some really great social proof here in logos at the bottom. And then they've also got some data points here on the right that just validate what it is that they're offering. Now I love this scroll animation where the words turn white as you scroll. And then I also love the way they've switched up the alignment. Rather than having everything left aligned, they've pushed different elements over to the right while still being left aligned, which is a really cool, fun way just to keep the user bouncing back and forth and keep them engaged. Now again, they're utilizing this subtle color change and font change inside the headers. And then the one thing that I really, really appreciate is the way that they've done this tab section. Now, this is something that can be difficult to highlight or demonstrate, whether it's an app or some sort of product, because there's just a lot of information. There's a lot of different screenshots. And so using this type of tab element is a great way to get a lot done in a very short amount of space. And so you can see that these tabs open up a subheader or a subtext here, and then it's changing the screenshot over on the right. Now continuing down again, big and bold testimonial sections. And then we've got a lot of just left, right sections here. And then we're down to the call to action, which again, they're changing the font and the font color of the most important words. And then they've got their call to action here. So Cellex, fantastic website. It is a flat black website. There's not a lot of color in it, but I still think it's very engaging. Overall, this is gonna get from me a 7.5 out of 10. All right, our next website is fortnite.studio. 
And again, right off the bat, you're going to tell that this is not an all black website. In fact, there's almost no black in this entire website. They've got kind of this bluish purple dark background. And I think it really helps the brand colors pop. They've got kind of this peach pink color. And they're utilizing this on all the call to actions throughout the site, as well as some other elements that I think they do really tastefully. Now, the first thing that I want to highlight on this is I love that these individual words inside of the header are buttons, and they've got the little arrow here to show that. And as you hover them, they turn white while the rest of the words get a little bit more opaque. So it just allows you to, to see, hey, this is a button. You can click through to these individual services, or you can go to the about section. Now, as we scroll down, um, they've got just a really standard, clean hover effect here for the different individual projects. And then I love how they utilize this really bright brand color for this div block and then have the white text and white logos on top of it. This is one thing that I really encourage you to do is not be so committed to the dark mode theme that you're afraid to bring in some bright colors, whether that's some white backgrounds or some colored backgrounds. If it's done tastefully, it can just bring so much life and character to your website. Um, and they do a really great job of that. Whether it's individual elements right here that are moving around, just your calls to action, little icons. Um, but overall, I think Fortnite.studio does a fantastic job of this. And again, I'll put the link down in the bio. This website for me is going to get a 7 out of 10. A uh, really fantastic job. And it's great inspiration for an agency or a portfolio site. So be sure to check it out. The next website is tryboost.com. And this is very different than the other websites that I have in this video. And the reason being is oftentimes these dark mode websites make you feel like, hey, it has to be really you know, serious and really professional. But tryboost.com said, no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use our bright colors. We're gonna make it messy and crazy and fun. And I, I really love what they've done here. The first thing you're gonna notice is all of the images and they have a lot of elements that look like stickers and their design styles, it looks like somebody took a handful of these images and just threw them across a desk and they just placed them wherever they landed. And it feels like really controlled chaos and it's really, really fun. Now I love how they use the bright colors in the headers as well as the calls to action. And then you're going to see these colors throughout in these sticker elements that again have a little bit of a scroll movement so everything doesn't feel too static. And then they've just got these really bright images. Now the one thing that I don't agree with on this website is I don't like that they have the word boost in the background. It does make it feel just really cluttered and really messy. But the one thing they do to kind of counteract this, what I would call a mistake, is they're using really, really bright colors to make everything else pop and come to the front so you don't get too overwhelmed. But I would definitely lean to the side of making the background one solid color, and I think that would help a lot with this website. Now going down again, just bright colors everywhere. It just feels super fun. And then they're utilizing this purple color and their footer. Um, again, sometimes a solid color background can go a long ways. So overall, tryboost.com gets a 6.5 from me. Great inspiration if you're looking to bring in some color to a dark theme website. All right, so the next website is Hubble.net, and I love this website for several reasons, but the number one reason is it's a dark mode website without any black in it. You can see that everything is a variation of either purple or blue, and it just makes it feel brighter and more friendly while still getting the benefits of that dark mode or dark theme. Now, you can see that all the call to actions and the little banner up here at the top all use that purple color, but as we scroll down, you're gonna see it incorporate some additional colors, whether that's reds, blues, oranges. I do love this card section, how as you're scrolling, one card overlaps the other one, and then they're bringing in some additional colors like greens, and then they've got some very basic left-right layouts, but they have awesome animated images with a lot of color that just make it pop. Now, as we scroll down, there's not really anything that's that unique aside from what we saw up above. I do love this sliding tab section that changes the content and the images. And as we continue to scroll, you're going to see a moving review section. And as you hover over this, it stops so you can read the individual testimonials. And then we've got our call to action section. So Hubble, awesome website, great use of purples and blues. Very good job of not just sticking to that standard black look. Uh, but overall, this website's going to get a 7 out of 10 from me. Really awesome job.
The next website is sitebox.co. This is big and bold, a lot of really big, large, all caps fonts. I love the background video inside their logo. And as you scroll, that's going to open up to another really bold uh, font here that takes up most of the screen. Now, as we scroll down, I really like this section where you hover over it and it's going to take the icon in the middle, move it to the top corner, and then show you some additional text in the center. And of course, all of these are buttons. And then as we scroll down, they've got a really cool tab section, which again is just allowing you to show a ton of content inside a very small space. And I really do love the font and the all caps look. Again, it just does a great job of drawing your attention, especially because the font is that really bright white color. Scrolling down, they've got some cool scroll animations where the middle images are moving one direction and the left and right images are moving another direction. And then as we come down, we've got some other additional cool hover features where as you hover over these blog articles, it's going to show you the image and a summary. And then as we go all the way down to the bottom, we've got some different like layout variations, but for the most part, it's pretty standard. And then we've got our call to action at the bottom. So Sitebox is a really great kind of boxy, um, static looking site, but overall fantastic job of utilizing the dark mode. The one thing I do like is they used a slight like black variation. So it's a little bit more gray. I would say if you can help it, never just go a, a flat black color or a straight black color. What you want to do is use different variations of grays, blues, purples, greens, just to give it a little bit more character. All right, the next website is paddle.com. I feel like this is probably the most basic dark mode website that we have on this list, but they do a really fantastic job of just sticking to the basics. Really standard layouts, whether that's a three column section, different icon layouts. They are utilizing a little color inside the div blocks as background colors. This does help different elements pop. And the other thing that you'll notice down here at the bottom is they utilize that for a hover effect where the background changes and the fonts change from white to black. So again, a really standard site. I love what they've done with the images and bringing in some color, utilizing these background colors, whether that's whites or lighter colors, just makes it pop. But paddle.com is a really great example of a website that you could design pretty quickly that is a great example of a dark theme website. And finally, my favorite website on this list. This is a site that's been talked a lot about on Twitter. There are other videos out there on YouTube about this and for good reason. This is linear.app and in a lot of ways, this has kind of set the standard for dark mode websites in recent months. And you'll notice that I've actually taken a lot of inspiration from this site, especially when it comes to utilizing these different colors like purples and blues as drop shadows or box shadows and different features that make it look like there's a colored light coming onto the background of your website. So as we scroll, you're gonna see that the layouts are, are really standard, but they have different ways to break up the individual sections. Like this looks like some sort of planet, and then you've got this blue stars in the background. And as we scroll down, they've got this grid variation with some images that are animated, but they're not moving too much or too quickly, but it does bring the site to life. And these are the sections that I love so much. Now, these little lines here, as you scroll down, they're going to, to go wider, and then the light is going to come through that line. And honestly, I don't know how they did this effect. It would probably take me a very long time to learn how to do this or figure out how to do this inside Webflow. But I love that when you get to this section, the light shines over the section, and it just brings the whole thing to life. And it really draws your attention to whatever it is that you're looking at at that moment. Now, as we scroll down, you're going to see that they do this with other colors. It goes from purple to this blue color, and they try to kind of match those different colors inside the section with their images. Now, this one is a little bit more of kind of like a greenish blue. And then as we scroll down, it's going to bring it back to purple. Now, I really like how most of the things are center aligned. Sometimes we get away from center aligning things. But if it's done well, it can actually look really, really nice. And it just makes it flow right down the center of the page. And for me, it's a lot more enjoyable to read than just having everything left aligned. Now, as we scroll down, they're bringing in some other colorful images. And in this website, I would highly recommend going to the site and flipping through all of the different pages. For example, if I go over here to the features pages, there's a lot of movement, a lot of additional colors that they bring in, whether it's yellows, greens, pinks, oranges. 
Um, this is an incredible website. So I'm going to drop the links to all of these websites down in the description. But if you enjoyed this video, if there are any of these sites that inspired you to go and design and develop your own dark theme websites, please be sure to hit that like button. And if there are any websites that I'm forgetting about, drop them in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching and we look forward to catching y'all in the next video.